Hey Dandelions, it's me Sandy, aka Sandy Dandy. And today I'm going to show you guys my Halloween glue book. Okay, uh, I started this uh, during the pan pan pandemic. How do you pronounce that? Um, during the quarantine of 2020, uh, I didn't have much to do and yeah, I had a bunch of Halloween stuff and I decided to make a Halloween glue book. I finished this in, I think, 2021. But yeah, uh, life happens and I didn't get around to showing you guys this. Uh, but I figured since it is spooky season, I would show you guys this. Uh, yeah, because it's appropriate. Okay. <laughs> have to wipe my nose. Yeah, it is like... Let's see. Uh, you guys want to see my wallpaper? Okay. So, there's my Halloween wallpaper. Okay. And I have the pumpkins. So, let's see. What is our current weather it is 54 degrees today it's supposed to be 62 today but it's 54 right now okay so yeah it is cold um let me grab a hold of my tea mug and i'll show you guys i'm having some tea i'm having some tea this morning uh in my jack and sally mug it says meant to simply meant to be uh, I got this at Walmart. Um, let's see. I think I got this in 2020. Was it 2020? I think it was 2022 when I got that mug. And my tea I'm having is... Okay, it's it's uh, spelled O-O-O. It's spelled O-O long T. Okay, so I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah. Uh, do that amongst yourselves. Yeah, I just don't know how to pronounce that. So, let's, let me show you the outside. First, um, I have this little skeleton. Uh, I had a bunch of these, uh, one year. I thought I was going to have, like, a bunch of trick-or-treaters, and I never did. So, um, yeah, I saved, I saved this one, and I gave the rest away just, uh, cousins and stuff little little cousins but I saved the purple one uh, I have a black ribbon here I do not remember what the black ribbon came off of um, it might have been like a, a comforter set or something that I got uh, that it came from but it's just a black ribbon uh, the cover we have this skeleton I think he was one of those window clings let me turn off the light here because we're having some glare. Okay, so he was a window cling, and uh, this boo was a window cling, and yeah, I thought he went uh, perfect on the cover. Uh, if you can see, um, the front cover is silver, but it's kind of uh, holographic. Uh, we have ghost face here. This was a sticker. Um, I got all these like Halloween stickers in a big pack. I think I got them from Amazon. You probably can still find them. I think it's like uh, called horror stickers, sticker pack. Okay, and there's Ghostface again. Uh, I'm not a big fan of clowns, but uh, yeah, there's uh, Pennywise. I think that was the new version of Pennywise. Uh, then we have the classic Pennywise. Uh, we have a little Grim Reaper dude at, down here. And this just says Halloween down here. This house it is like a creepy haunted house. And then we have uh, Sam's Sucker from uh, Trick or Treat. Yeah, that's one of my favorite uh, Halloween movies. I recommend that if you guys have never seen Trick or Treat. Um, I think it's a trick R. There's like an R in the middle and it's treat. Uh, but it's been out a while. And you guys probably have, uh, if you guys haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, I seen a really good um, movie this morning. And I wanted, I wanted to um, do like a, a screen capture video on Tubi. 
to show you guys uh, the movie, uh, like the description of the movie, but it wouldn't let me uh, do a screen. Okay, and Max, Max is barking. Sorry. Uh, I want to do a screen capture of um, the screen to show you guys the description of the movie and everything. But it wouldn't let me because it said it was copyright protected. But the name of the movie I seen this morning was called All Hallows, All Hallows Eve. And they have a, uh, I watched part one. They have a part two. Uh, then they have, um, then they have like a, a spinoff with Ar Okay, Max, shush. Okay, with a creepy clown from uh, All Hallows Eve, they do. They have a spinoff called Terrifier, and there's Terrifier Two, and Terrifier Three is currently in theaters. So I'm gonna watch Terrifier One and Two on Tubi. Uh, I'm currently uh, watching All Hallows Eve Two right now, but All Hallows Eve is a really good movie if you guys haven't seen it. It's like. Um, one of the creepiest newer movies I've seen in a while, uh, except for Smile. Smile is also one that I recommend you guys watch. Uh, it is really creepy, but yeah, All Hallows Eve is a really good movie. Um, so yeah, guys, check it out. So the back here, uh, we have some more horror stickers. We have Chucky up here. Uh, we have Michael. Uh, we have Jason. Yeah, I love Jason. Michael Myers. I love Michael Myers. Uh, we have Freddy. We have Pinhead. We have uh, Leatherface. Oh, sorry, Max. Fourteen minutes distracting me. Uh, we have Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas. We have Pinhead again. Uh, we have Sam. I love Sam. He's one of my favorite uh, Halloween characters. And then we have Edward Scissorhands down here. And we have Oogie Boogie. Yeah, I love Oogie Boogie. And down here at the bottom it says Halloween Town. Yeah. Okay. So, let's get into uh, the inside. Okay. So, I have some more Halloween stickers here. Uh, this is a pocket that I made out of an envelope um, from a Halloween card that I got. So we have this sticker here. This is a cute, a cute little sticker. It's a space ghost and a pumpkin planet. Okay, and there's a random fly on me. There's just like one fly in my house. And that fly has just been bugging me lately. So anyway, we have Sam from Trick or Treat. Uh, we have Sam over here. And then this sticker says, a gift from Horror Pack. Okay, and that came from, um, I ordered some masks, uh, a while back, uh, when I have, like, uh, Halloween masks that I ordered from, uh, Horror Pack. It's like, a it's a company, a company that, uh, is associated with Horror Pack. It's called Horror Decor. I ordered some masks, um, from that company, and they, uh, sent me a DVD, a free DVD, D, DVD too. Uh, I have a Freddy uh, themed uh, mask, uh, like facial mask, and I have a Jason one. And then I have a um, The Shining. It is the uh, carpet from The Shining. I have uh, that is sort of like a bandana, like mask thing that comes uh, that comes down, and you can wear it as a bandana. Or you can wear it as a scarf. And yeah, they're a really good company. Hard decor if you've never checked them out. Uh, their stuff, yeah, just to let you guys know, uh, some of the items are a little pricey. I also have like a mag, I have a um, Friday the 13th Camp Crystal Lake magnet that I ordered uh, once. I had a gift card and I ordered from them. So we have a random knife over here that I found in a magazine. At the top we have a owl and then we have another owl here and i'll show you guys what's in the pocket okay yeah speaking of horror decor i have their business card so this is horror decor's business card uh that i got when i ordered uh, my facial mask from them 
So there is the uh, website, and they are on Facebook. Uh, what is Twitter? Isn't Twitter anymore? I can't remember. Is it called X now? And yeah, so that's all their like information. And I just kept the card because I thought the card was cool. Uh, they used to send like uh, little specimen bags when you would order something. Uh, I have a little specimen. I had a little specimen bag, and uh, somewhere I have like a little. Um, it was like a little liver or heart or something. I can't remember what it was. Um, this came from a little book that I got. Uh, I got that at this um, random thrift store. Um, I've been there like a couple times. It's like an old. It's an old library that they turned it um, a Catholic. Um, I think it's a cat. It's Catholic. A Catholic charity. They turned this old library into a uh, thrift store, and they were having this um, fill a bag day. Every you could fill. Uh, they gave you a bag. Uh, you fill everything you could fit in the bag for a uh, dollar. So um, I found this random book, and it had like um, all these like different horror things that you could do. And this is my card. It's my blood donor card. Okay. And it was like a vampire theme page. It says, I am a generous supporter of free blood for vampires. Uh, loving. Long live the thirst. So, yeah. There's my little card. I put it on a piece of card stock black cardstock that I had but I just thought that was cool so yeah I got that in the pocket of this and then I have um, this was a Halloween decoration that I had on the wall and it is a pumpkin and that that is where the black string came from uh, the black ribbon because it was in between these pumpkins so yeah I have a pumpkin there Okay, and I may, like, leave that out and, like, put that on the wall someplace because I thought that was cool. And then I have three Halloween cards in here. Oh, and I have a leaf. And I don't know how this leaf has uh, stayed good in here, but this is a leaf for my yard. And I put it um, in tape and preserved it. So, yeah, there's a leaf uh, from 2020. So... Uh, these are cards from my friend Liz Harfan. Uh, these are Halloween cards that she sent me, and I've kept them in that pocket. Uh, this one is says, Happy Halloween. And, yeah, it's got the witch, and it's got still got the glitter on there. Uh, yeah, I have a hard time keeping glitter uh, things with glitter together, but that still has the glitter. And, let's see. Okay. And, yeah, there's stickers. There's a cute witch sticker. Uh, and a little um, cupcake with an eyeball, which is cool. We have a pumpkin here. We have a witch broom. And we have uh, eyeballs, a candy corn, a pumpkin. And then we have a uh, pumpkin stamp down here. And I'm not going to read you the message in here. Uh, yeah, I, I think I've shown you guys that card before. And this one, that one was from 2021. I think this one is from 2020. Uh, it says, it's Halloween. Isn't, isn't it creepy? Isn't it fun? So, yeah. And it has black cats, bats, all the cool stuff for Halloween. And... This one was from 2020. And then we have this year's card. You guys have seen uh, me hauling, uh, showing you guys um, opening this card. So, yeah. I like to have pockets in, like glue books and journals to keep uh, things of importance in there. So, let me put these cards in here. I'm going to leave that pumpkin out because I think I'm going to, I think about putting him up someplace in my living room. 
Okay, so this page, I made an alien page. So it says, leave the world, look beyond, invasion, out of the world, out of this world, view from our, our place, wonders, raising future. So this is an alien page. Okay, let me see if I can get it without the glare. So I had all these baby aliens uh, from a National Great catalog. And then these were uh, the things that look like planets uh, were these like little uh, stress ball things that I seen at a catalog. So I just put those in there. Um, and we have some weird plants and stuff. And yeah, so there is my alien page. Let me get in a little closer, guys, so you guys can see it. So yeah, and I like just did like, and some of these pages there's like a theme, uh, and some it's just random. So this is a vampire page. It says, "Is feeding bats the bots the bot stuff." Breathe deeply, dark, blood, vamp, attack, knots, you're invited. Okay. And I can't remember where I found that vampire picture, but, uh, yeah. And I have some, uh, bat stickers on here. And this is a glass of blood, uh, that came from that book, um, that, like, craft book. Uh, horror crafting book thing that I got at the thrift store. We have bats over here. So, yeah, I love that picture of the vampire. I just think it is so cool. Okay. And on the next page, um, this says, Happiness in Dark Times. I want to blank your hand, which I thought that was cool. Uh, breathe. Know the deepest parts of you. I'm never alone. Dark. Everything changes. The scariest. And the picture in the middle I got from an Archie comic that I had. Um, it was an Archie horror comic. I do not remember where I got the fingers. But I just thought they were cool. So it was sort of a, like a horror love page. Okay. So that is cool. And I went through this last night because uh, I couldn't remember what I put in here. So I went through it and just looked at everything. So I just, yeah, I had a re reminiscence of uh, what I did back then. This says, chilling. It wasn't fun anymore. It is obsessed. You'll never be happy. Out of nowhere. After midnight. Listen, dark, horror. You won't feel safe. You won't ever feel safe enough. Weird uses for ordinary things. Save me. Ser uh, trauma survival. Eeky. Uh -huh. Okay, and my... Okay, if you see me dump, jump, my Surrey just went off and it scared the crap out of me. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of horror movies, so that scared the crap out of me. Um, she had re her reasons. Survival skills you need to know. OMG, oh my, I don't like to say uh, God's name in vain, so oh my G, uh, WTF, your best choices. Okay, so I did this, um, this was sort of like a serial killer page, like someone who was obsessed with uh, someone. And yeah, if you ever seen that show You, uh, that's kind of uh, my idea for this page. So, yeah. And I loved, like, the eyeballs and stuff. Uh, I got the, like, all these, like, knives from a catalog. And, yeah. I just, I thought that was a cool page. Um, this one says, look out for yourself. Uh, arthritis. I don't know why I put arthritis on there. Uh, censored. Horror. It's only a matter of time until... Pain. Effing crazy. It's just, it does not have the full word. Uh, not. Bad words. Strangest. Stop. Never sleep again. Okay, this is like a pain page. Um, yeah. 
and I was having like some arthritis and stuff back then so yeah that is why I did that and we have Freddy's claw marks and yeah Mrs. Beasley down here uh yeah, Mrs. Beasley scared the crap out of me as a kid. Uh, maybe it's just because my aunt's Mrs. Beasley uh, was so old that she like uh, she she eerily she had this like old man voice. Like it sounded like she had been smoking for like several years. That's what her voice sounded like so yeah maybe that's why she scared the crap out of me i still can't really look at mrs beasley straight on without getting freaked out and i put these big giant eyeballs on the sky because i thought yeah that is cool so yeah and never sleep again is from nightmare on elm street if you guys have never seen nightmare on elm street where have you been Okay, and so this next page, it says, Kill, we've lived all our lives, and we're never going to, our lives, and we're never going to come back, are we? Damned. And yeah, that's a, I guess, is that considered a cuss word? Uh, this is an 18 plus channel, so if you're a child on here, uh, Please go away because this is a, a channel for adults. It says creepy people are approaching from behind you. Ghosts, dark ages, uh, with ropes, and but no GPS. What happened? Do you want to live forever? Look what we found. Look inside. So I made this page like a true crime page, and yeah, I don't. I don't uh, I can't remember. I think I got the the guy with the noose um, in a comic book bag. And then I love these like creepy old pictures that I found. Um, I can't remember exactly where I found them. But I found them in like some random magazine and I decided to put them on here. So that is my like true crime page. Uh, the next page says The Walking Dead. Strange effect. Time to slay was dead as dead as a doornail even the kids helped i thought that was funny to put on there uh cabin fever afterlife and um yeah i love this kid with the overlook hotel balloon so i uh what would that page like be uh sort of like a shining page okay so yeah and I don't remember where I got all the Overlook uh, hotel stuff. But it came out like some random magazine that I had. So uh, either that or a comic book. I tried to like recycle some of my horror comics. Because they weren't like worth anything. Uh, I looked them up. They weren't worth anything. And uh, I just wanted something to do with them. So I decided to... Uh, cut all the weird stuff out and put them in here. So this says maybe you're not enough. Risk. Open 24 hours. Dark void. Next. Who's, whose side are you on? Don't give too much info. Madness. If I run into him. So. Yeah. Okay. So there's that page. And I love the up at the top, the like uh, eye chart. And then this like bone knife. Uh, I cannot remember. That is like, a, I think that might just be a normal knife. Um, and then I have like a creepy hand on top of it. And then I have this hand with this like st uh, strength tester thing. And yeah, I got those knives out like catalogs. And then we have this like random like police sketch of a suspect and then we have this uh shadowed figure the next page is a 30 the friday the 13th uh inspired page it says it was a summer unlike any before the woods who's the visitor he's always with me built for the wild bloodiest uh, black black lake we have to stick together here. Okay. 
and I have some Jason stickers that I had. Um, the like lantern and like the stuff in the background came from like different magazines. And the big bloody knife came out of that like uh, horror crafting uh, book. So yeah. And I love Friday the 13th. Um, yeah, I have like a couple of sequels that I'm not really uh, that thrilled about. Uh, and it's going to be an unpopular uh, if I say it. But I didn't really care for Jason X. Yeah. I, it did have two like cool... Uh, yeah. I'm a horror fan so I can say this. They had two like cool kills in it. Uh, Jason had, like, really two cool kills in that. Uh, when he uh, cryogenically uh, froze that woman's face and, like, smashed it on the table. And then when he did the sleeping bag against the tree, that was cool. Uh, but, yeah. And I, uh, I kind of like the, the remake, but... You know, in certain parts of it, I think the, the people were just, like, too dumb. And, uh, yeah, they deserve what they got. So, yeah, that's harsh to say. But, um, yeah. So, that's my Friday the 13th page. Uh, next page is a Halloween-inspired uh, page. It says, Sharp, Michael Myers Halloween. Halloween, you're not alone. Coming this fall made you look uh, scary fun halloween scary halloween halloween treats autumn okay so this is my michael myers page uh the stickers on this page came from the big sticker collection halloween sticker collection that i got um then we have like uh jamie lee curtis and up here we have pj souls um they came from, um, I bought the Halloween, uh, DVD, and I, like I said, I keep all my DVDs in, like, a big, um, a big, like, plastic, it has plastic sleeves in it, a big carrying case with, that has plastic sleeves in it. I like to keep my DVDs that way because, uh, yeah, and I have them, like, separated, separ separated out, like, by horror movies and, like, TV shows and stuff. But I like to keep them in that big case because I'm afraid they're going to get scratched uh, if they stay in cases. So, uh, that came from, uh, like, the cover art. And I cannot remember uh, where I got the Michael Myers mask up there. But, yeah, I thought that was a cool page. And we have Candy Corn. Which, right now, uh, I'm having a bit of, like, stomach issue. Um, I've caught a bit of a, I, last week, and, uh, it's kind of, I had caught a, like, a big, uh, some kind of, like, bug. I don't think it's the flu, but I caught, like, a bug, um, and last week I was really sick. I'm kind of getting over it now, but my stomach's still kind of, uh, yeah, queasy. I'm having to work my way up back up to solid foods again uh, I've been drinking a lot of tea a lot of water and soup because uh, yeah I tried some peanut butter yesterday and yeah the peanut butter didn't uh, it didn't it didn't go good uh, yeah TMI it just didn't go good trying to eat the peanut butter um, but yeah uh, so, the next page uh, is a witch page. Uh, it says, Candle Wax, Brain, Strange Effect, Black Music, I Put a Spell on You, Bewitching, Just Brew It, Jack-O-Lantern, Jack-O-Lantern Duties, uh, November Woman, okay, and I've not got my glasses on, um, Stick, The Soul of a Woman, Okay, and, yeah, um, the, uh, border here is from a magazine where they had, like, um, these are, like, words, uh, that are, like, jumbled backwards, and you're supposed to, like, uh, figure out what they say, but I just thought they looked cool. I thought they looked like a spell, like, um, somebody had written out a spell. 
Uh, we have a voodoo guy down here. And I got him from a comic book. Uh, yeah, and we have these Halloween stickers. Uh, witch inspired stickers. Uh, we have this bottle up here. Uh, it is, what is in that bottle? It's like a ghost. And yeah. I like the brains. I found the brains in a, a random magazine. Uh, I do not remember. Oh, it's got cats. It's cats on the brain. See? Okay. If you guys guys can see that, there's cats on the brain. That must have been a cat food ad. Um, and I just love that, so I decided to stick it in here. And we have a black cat down here. Okay. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, just to let you guys know, uh, for my true supporters, uh, I... Uh, dandelions that have been here a while my cat is not really doing too good um and he's got he's got some kind of like flu uh but uh the vet said there's not much i can do for him uh, i just have to keep him comfortable try to get him to drink fluids and um yeah that's about all i can do he's like really weak and uh yeah, I don't want to cry. Um, I'm prepared if something happens. Um, yeah, I've went through it before with my with my um, with my pug Lily. So um, yeah, and I'm trying to protect prepare, prepare Max in case uh, the worst uh, case happens and we lose uh, Lucky. But um, yeah, right now I'm just uh, trying to pray and uh, have hope. He's drinking water, but he's not really eating. So, um, yeah, he's just like keeping to himself. And, I, yeah, that's all I can do right now. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. <sighs> the next page, let's try to get up, just uh, get a happier mood. Uh, October... This is an October page. It's always Halloween in my soul. Halloween, it's Halloween. Halloween candy and costumes, scary fun. So, I have a lot of cute Halloween stickers on this page. And the background is like uh, autumn uh, leaves and stuff. And down we're here, we have this cute little, uh, I think it's a basset hound and a pumpkin. And then we have this dog trick-or-treating. We have a cat there. And, yeah. What is in the corner there? Uh, some random Halloween stuff. And we have owls. So, yeah. I like how that page turned out. And the next page, it says, Taste. Great, great taste. It came from the cabinet. And this came from, uh, what was that? Cal okay, and it says, uh, Crazy Delicious. This came from, um, what was that? Home, home and garden, uh, family something. It was like one of those magazines that I used to get for free. And they had like these, uh, these fruits and vegetables with eyeballs. Uh, I put the eyeballs on the pumpkin, uh, that, yeah, I found randomly in a, uh, some kind of magazine or stuff. But, uh, as you can see, like all the fruits and vegetables have, uh, googly eyes. We have pumpkins down here. But, yeah, I loved all that, so I decided to make a, uh, like a random page that went along with that. So, yeah, I'm trying not to cry, guys. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've lost many pets, and it never gets easier, um, for all of you guys that are pet parents out there. Uh, you get, you get attached and, uh, yeah, I'm just glad that Max is in really good health for his age. Um, he did have pet COVID. If you guys have never heard of pet COVID, he had that. Um, and, uh, the vet, the vet didn't, uh, all the vet told me to do for him when he had pet COVID was to get him to drink water and, like, soft foods and stuff. And as you can hear, my cat's crying. I, I yeah, that breaks my heart. Uh, but there's nothing I can do for him. 
and I hate to hear him cry, but yeah, I'm just making him comfortable and trying. They said not uh, to try to keep him and Max separated. So um, yeah, he's been um, he's been coming and going out of my bedroom. Um, yeah, so I made him a little place in there so he could lay and rest and. Uh, yeah, I'm just supposed to keep them, like, separated, um, so that he doesn't get, uh, luck, that Max doesn't get lucky, real excited and everything. Uh, but it's breaking my heart, guys. So, it says, fine, finally night, uh, yearning for escape, death to come here, my friend. I'm coming for you, uh, piece of the body, bones. Pain in the ashes, your aching back, broken. Grab a friend, part of something in secret place. And I got this skeleton. Okay, this is sort of like a, a uh, zombie grave digger page. Uh, I got this, the skeleton from a different um, crafting um, uh horror book that I had. So, yeah. That's where the skeleton came from. And, yeah. I didn't know what else to do with him. Because, um, yeah. He's, like, so little that, um, did you guys ever put those, uh, skeletons together in, like, elementary school where you put the little brackets in and, uh, you can make their arms move and everything? I wanted to do that, but there's, uh, it's hard to find, like, tiny little brackets for that, so I just, uh, put it in the glue book. Okay. Uh, next page says, October delights taste so good. Harvest. Happy fall, y'all. Yeah, if you're Southern, you've probably seen that on, like, tons of stuff. And it says, Halloween. I like it spooky. Uh, scary story. Be very, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting pumpkins. Pumpkin, fall harvest. What do you get when you drop a pumpkin? Okay, and yeah, these were like from, uh, these little sayings were from, um, this little, like, uh, magazine that they give out at the drugstore. So, yeah, um... So we have a cool little bat there. We have a bunch of like uh, autumn leaves and corn. And we have candy corn there. Uh, we have some stickers. Uh, yeah, I love these Halloween stickers. Okay. And they were in the horror uh, pack. And we have Stephen King there in the middle of the corn. And we have the Geico lizard down there. He has a broom. And, yeah, uh, I think Stephen King goes perfectly between the corn because, uh, if you didn't know, he is the writer of Children of the Corn. So, yeah, he had to go there. Uh, this is a Marie Antoinette page. It says, Marie Antoinette, Antoinette, fabulous. Hack job, this ain't. Head of the table. Cut to size. Uh, let's see this. It keeps me from looking at my phone every two seconds. Back together. Make her beautiful. Drip. Uh, what a day. So, yeah. Uh, Marie Antoinette came from another, like I said, I had like two different uh, horror-themed uh, crafting books, and Marie Antoinette came from that one. Uh, I made some blood uh, from some cardstock, and we have all these knives and stuff. But yeah, I, that's like a horror comedy thing. Okay, so yeah, and the next page. If you just seen a glimpse of it, you're like, "What is that?" Um, this says, "Now you can breathe." And I made a mouth page. This took me so long to do. Uh, I had to find like random ma mouse from so many magazines. So, yeah, this is my mouth page. Okay, let me see. Okay, so it is all mouths. And yeah, it, it looks 
it's weird, but it's cool at the same time. Uh, yeah. Um, the reason why I did that is because um, I seen another YouTuber a long time ago that I used to watch, and she did eyeballs. She, uh, somebody like uh, left a comment on one of her videos, like saying you should like cut uh, save all the eyeballs out of magazines and do an eyeball page. She just did one page. I did too. So this says Jeepers Papers. And these are my eyeball pages. So this took forever to do. Uh, I had these two like big giant eyeballs. And then I had to find all these eyeballs from different magazines. And we have some googly eyes too. But yeah. That was a lot of work and I thought it turned out really cool so yeah so I got the idea from that channel I don't remember what that channel is I don't know if they're still uh, making videos anymore but um, yeah that's where I got that idea and then I decided okay why not make an ear page so I made a random ear page. These are all ears. And you can see some of them have hearing aids. Uh, because uh, in like some of the magazines that I had, there ha was hearing aid ads. So I looked up on them. So yeah, I made an ear page. Okay. And if you guys are thinking about doing these, the eyeballs, the lips, um... And the ears, it takes a while to do that. Um, you just have to like save, uh, you have to save eyeballs and everything. Just like cut them out every time you see them in an ad. If you see like cool eyeballs that you like. Uh, noses, I was going to do a nose page. Uh, but yeah, I'll have to do that in an, another glue book. But um, yeah, when you see like random cool eyes, mouths. Uh, ears you just like have to save them and it takes a while to collect enough uh, to do a whole page so and yeah if you got like cool friends that uh, would save like eyeballs and mouths and ears for you uh, out of their magazines then you would be cool okay so this page says wild thing perfect pumpkin fall is around the corner grab a friend and at the top, we have a googly eyes a sticker. Uh, and we have some uh, Halloween stickers here. Uh, we have this uh, pumpkin eating an apple. And we have some ghosts down there. And we have this cute little girl on a pumpkin. And then we have this little guy uh, up here dressed in his... Uh, Halloween costume. In Tompkinsville, it's 54 degrees okay, Fahrenheit. Okay, and he had to chime in to scare the crap out of me. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 60 degrees and a low of okay, 39 degrees. Okay, yeah, right now my nerves are on edge, so, uh, yeah, anything like that's going to scare the crap out of me. But anyway, this little boy is dressed up like a uh, dinosaur. So, yeah, that's a cutesy page. Uh, next page, it says emergencies tricks and treats uh, treats is on the other page it says happy halloween boo uh then we have uh says take a hike uh this is a charlie brown and garfield page yeah because i bought both of those dvds at the same time and i wanted to use the cover art in a uh, glue book so we have the characters from charlie brown there and we have a, a googly eyed sticker. I don't know if I can make his eyes move. We have Garfield down here. That is one of my favorite uh, Halloween specials besides Charlie Brown. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I watch that every year. I'm going to have to... It's in my uh, horror movie case. That's kind of uh, Halloween horror movie. So I'll have to pull that out and watch that on Halloween. I save that every year for Halloween. And I watch it, it, and it's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. We have pumpkins down here. And, yeah, that was a fun page to do. Uh, now, this year I'm uh, working two new movies into my 
Uh, I watched Halloween 1, 2, and 3, 2 on Halloween. And I'm gonna this year I'm gonna watch Hocus Pocus 1 and 2. Uh, 2 finally came on uh, FX the other night, and last night, and I copied uh, 1 and 2. Uh, my DVR and I'm gonna add them into my Halloween playlist for Halloween day um, so yeah basically on Halloween uh, we don't have trick-or-treaters anymore because they're they do this like big uh, trunk or treat thing up in town so uh, we don't have trick-or-treaters so basically I just like uh, make my own fun for Halloween um, yeah I leave my Halloween decorations up your round. I don't know if that's like weird or not, but um, yeah, I watch, uh, I get something special. I always go to the grocery store like um, pre-Halloween and get like something special um, <coughs> for Halloween uh, and make a special meal on Halloween night. Um, and yeah, this year, um, yeah, I have Halloween candy, but I'm not going to have any burger traders, so that's going to last a while. I'm going to get myself uh, one of my special candy bars when I go to the grocery store on Thursday. Uh, it is a chocolate, uh, caramel, and salt, salted caramel uh, candy bar. I really love that. I'm going to save that for Halloween night. Um, and, yeah. So, I'm going to try to do a haul video on Thursday, uh, depending how I feel and how uh, life events go, uh, whether I feel like doing a haul video that day, uh, I'll do a haul video and I'll post it so you guys can see what I got at Dollar General. Um, yeah, that's like my cheapest uh, grocery store here in town right now because like Walmart has become overpriced. Um, then we have this store called Priceless. Just, I'm sorry, uh, I'm doing like random little uh, chit chat while I talk to you guys. But um, then we have this store called Priceless in town. But uh, yeah, it's a good store, but um, they charge like 10% for each item at uh, checkout. So yeah, you're not really saving that much money on there. And yeah, I'm squeezing out my tea bag here. Uh, let me have a sip of tea. So, basically, I've just been, um, shopping at, um, I'm going to do some shopping on Amazon to, to fill up the pantry. Uh, yeah, I like to restock the pantry, um, every so many months, uh, for, and right now I'm, like, stocking up for winter time. Um, but, yeah, I'm basically, not, right now... Uh, I'm using Amazon and uh, going to Dollar General um, and yeah that's basically the stores I use now so yeah over here it says treats night owls anything but ordinary and yeah we have another googly eyes on this one I love this sticker um, of this pumpkin throwing up candy corn because, like, the other day I felt like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my stomach was, like, all queasy and stuff. And, yeah, that's how I felt. So, yeah, we have lots of pumpkins. And we have some sunflowers there. Yeah, I know sunflowers are a, uh, like, summer thing. But I just thought they went good with the pumpkin. Okay, next page. I didn't put any words on this, but um, up here is in the corner is Jack and Sally. It says, we're simply meant to be. Okay, so we have Jack and Sally up there in the corner. We have some uh, witches. We have this little girl bobbing for apples. We have some owls. We have a ghost. We have another... Um, googly eyed sticker we have jack and sally and we have sam and i love this uh pumpkin yeah this was like uh, i think it was from family circle and they did um a uh i think i get i don't think that's a real pumpkin i think it's like a funkin they did a scene inside the pumpkin which is really cool 
uh, yeah, that's my favorite kind of pumpkin is a funkin. Yeah, if you don't know what a funkin is, it's a fake pumpkin. Um, yeah, because, uh, yeah, if you ever cross real pumpkins lately, oh, yeah. And, yeah, I don't like to waste the money on a fake pumpkin because it's just going to rot. So, I like to have a, uh, I mean, on a real pumpkin because it's just going to rot. So, I, I bought a fake pumpkin last year. And, yeah, that is, uh, yeah, I like those because they last so long. They last forever. So, yeah. So, this says Got Pumpkins Autumn. And at the top it says Halloween Town. Yeah, if you've never seen Halloween Town, watch it. We have Jack and Sally up at the top uh, on the hill. We have a spider. Uh, we have an owl. And, yeah, we have the pumpkins. Um, and, yeah. Okay, this is, uh, I think this is like a Tim Burton-inspired uh, sticker. And, yeah, so. And, yeah, again, we have a pumpkin eating an apple, which is cool. Yeah. I haven't had apples in a while, so, yeah, maybe someday I'll get some. Right now, I'm having a hard time, like, even thanking a food. So, yeah. Hopefully, I feel better before Halloween. Um, yeah, it seems like the last, like, five Halloweens, I've been sick. I have been sick, like, either on Halloween or, like, the week, week or two before Halloween. So, ugh. So, let's hope I feel better. Uh, this says, me and my shadow. Uh, you do what? And, yeah, at the top, we have, um, some crows. We have Jack and Sally. I love Jack and Sally. Um, we have a googly eyes. We have a witch here. And we have, uh, Garfield and Odie from, um, the Garfield Halloween special. Yeah, and, uh, they're dressed like pirates. And they have, like, two big bags of candy. Um... In that special, uh, Garfield was trying to, he wanted Odie to go trick-or-treating with him so that he could, like, um, ha get double the candy because he wasn't going to give Odie any of Odie's candy. Uh, he was going to take Odie's candy after they come home. But, um, yeah, um, I don't want to spoil it for you guys if you've never seen it. It came out in, I think it was 85 uh, and I've watched every year since, so, yeah, and now I own my own DVD copy, uh, because it's, like, hard to find, uh, I think you might be able to find it online, uh, to watch, um, but I bought my copy from Amazon, so, yeah, uh, I got a really good deal on it, but, yeah, that's my favorite, uh, like, like I said, it's my second favorite animated Halloween special. And my third is uh, the Grinch, Grinch's Halloween special. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, yeah, but you guys can look it up on YouTube. That's where I found it. Because, um, yeah, I was searching for some, like, random... Every year I, like, search for some, like, random uh, Halloween things to put in my playlist. To make like a playlist for uh, to watch like Halloween movies and TV specials and stuff, and I I come up on that Grinch thing and I was like, yeah, you mean the Grinch had like a Halloween special? They said this one was made before the Christmas one, so yeah, it is really cool. Uh, it yeah, it's kind of got a scary part in it. If you watch it the first time, you might have a little jump, but, uh, the second time, you're like, okay, so, this says, Finding Monster, Halloween, and we have Jack and Sally, and Oogie Boogie, and all the gang up there at top, um, yeah, we have another Jack and Sally sticker over here, uh, we have a, a googly-eyed sticker, we have this pumpkin that is, uh, a vampire, we have the Grim Reaper down here. And, yeah. What is this one? Um. I do not know what that is. But, yeah. We have some pumpkins down here. And, yeah. I love. I love that page. 
yeah i had a lot of fun doing this uh like i said i uh most of this uh i was uh we were in quarantine and yeah i just yeah i thought i was watching a lot of people that did like glue books and stuff uh i can't remember the channel uh, that i watched uh but she used to do like um i think she must still might be um on youtube i need to look her up again and resubscribe to her um but uh she used to do like uh she would do like a glue book and then she would like make stories out of the pictures and yeah i just loved uh that channel i cannot remember what it is but i'll look it up um and i'll resubscribe uh i think i got uh like some channels like i accidentally uh unsubscribed to um when i was like uh yeah don't do this in the middle of the night um but yeah um uh, when i used to have like lack of sleep i would go through and and uh randomly uh take out channels that um uh, i thought i didn't want to watch anymore so yeah this says brew how well do you do you know cure what care for what else ya? oh well you'll join us someday breathe okay so yeah we have jack up at the top yeah i love jack this jack sort of looks like um a sugar skull yeah and i love sugar skulls uh, the apple says poisoned, and I do not want, know where I got this bottle. I can't remember. It's been so long. And down here we have a um, a lady dressed up in uh, what is that called? Um, uh, yeah, I can't remember what that like um, aesthetic is called. So, and we have that pumpkin down here. And we have like a feather or a quill. Okay. Next page it says madness. Save all your kisses for me. Feeling fearless made different. Okay. So. Yeah. We have a big knife at the top. We have this guy. I don't know who he is. But I just thought he was cool. So I put him in here. Uh, the background is like uh, trees. And the sticker that says save all the kisses for me is like a, a grim reaper. And we have like a Las Vegas sign. And we have some creepy shadow people. And yeah, I just love how that page turned out. Let's see, what is that at the top of? Uh, yeah, that is a, uh, I can't remember what that fruit is. Uh, that's a pomegranate. Okay. And the pomegranate sort of looks like a heart up here. Yeah, if you've never had pomegranate, it's really good. Uh, we have the bat. And then we have a possum over here. Ugh, I, I am afraid of possums, so... Yeah. Because one got in my house, and it scared the crap out of me. We had to get the neighbor to come down and get it out of the house. Uh, yeah, and I do not like possums, so, ugh. And I live near the woods, so, yeah, I have all, like, the critters in the woods. We have all the critters in the woods. Um, we have the cute little squirrels. I finally got to hear, the other day, I never heard my squirrels make noise, and they make the weirdest noise. Yeah. Uh, so we have squirrels, deer, uh and skunks and possums and all the creepy crawlies in the woods so yeah as long as they stay back there in the woods i'm happy so yeah this says banish alert you should know feeder look what we found best of the beast crystal ball and we have a grim reaper there and this uh this woman in the middle, uh, she came from a comic book that I had. And like I said, none of those comic books were worth anything. So, yeah, and we have a little, uh, we have a newspaper down here uh, with an, uh, it says three children. Three children die on something. Okay, so, yeah. 
So that, yeah, that's an interesting page. Uh, the next one says, Howl by the Moonlight, Three of a Kind, uh, More Z's for Night Owls. Oh, this is a giant 800-pound werewolf in the room. Okay, and this is a werewolf page. Uh, as you can see, these werewolf, these wolves are holding this baby. Uh, this was an ad for some kind of a flu shot. And then we have a wolf over here. But I really love that ad. And we have hands, creepy hands down here. And that owl. And we have Jack, my favorite. Um, and we have Jack here. And we have the little kids from... Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. We have this creepy looking baby that I got from an ad. But I loved this picture. Um, yeah. That's the only time I found it in a magazine. And I decided, yeah, I'm going to make a wolf page. So, yeah. And the trees in the background are sort of like uh, black. They're black and white and kind of creepy. So, I just thought they went perfect for that page. Uh, yeah, as you can see, during the quarantine, I had a lot of time on my hands. Um, this says, What was brought down upon me be returned, but times three. Head to toe, skin and nerve. May you get exactly what you deserve. Recite the revenge spell. Don't. Hidden powers. Okay, so the re revenge uh, spell was in... Another, um, and one of those, uh, horror, uh, horror books that was like, uh, where you did that coloring and different activities and stuff. And over here we have, uh, different body parts and stuff, um, inside the body that I found in a magazine. Uh, yeah, we have this woman, she just like, uh, she's got a mask on. And her face is kind of uh, dark and everything. So I thought it went perfect there. And we have this big foot down here in a pool. Yeah. So. And we have some knives. Yeah. Because I found a lot of knives in magazines. And the background for here is uh, black and white trees. And yeah. If you can hear. Yeah. My voice is a little um, hoarse and stuff. Because uh yeah, I've been sick. So, this is as Return for More. Wish you were here. And, yeah, I like that guy. Uh, I found him in a magazine. I think he was uh, in an ad for a game. And I just thought he was cool. We have, like, blood over here. And we have a skeleton. And we have some more blood splatters down here. And, yeah, I... I really thought that would go good in there. Okay, and the background's sort of like uh, street signs and stuff. Okay, next page. This says, Want More? Dark. And on the other side, it says Dark Void. So we have a scuba diving guy. He was like a... He's got uh, an old-timey scuba diving outfit. We have a lobster down here. We have a lantern. Uh, we have a rock. And we have this uh, weird looking uh, fish that uh, was in Archie McPhee catalog. On the other side, we have a dinosaur. We have Cthulhu. Yeah. If you're real, if you're like, uh, like creepy things, you probably like Cthulhu. Then we have a bug down here. We have a vampire mouth. And, yeah, I like how those two pages turned out. Okay, this page, uh, it says, New Edge, Banish, Don't. Okay, so we have Jack. We have two Jack stickers there. Uh, this other sticker says, uh, Sorta Spooky. And, yeah, I like that. We have a big hand there. And we have a hand holding a knife. We have this dude... Uh, I think that's like wrestling and he looks like he's choking that guy so yeah and we have some fuzzy slippers just randomly there on the other page it says all adults here uh, petrified portraits 
and I did sort of like a western cowboy page. I found these uh, these uh, cowboy people in um, in a magazine, and she came out of another magazine. And at the top we have a uh, we have witches, and they're the pretty witches. They're not the ugly witches. Okay, this page says, it's all here. Rock of the dead. Grab a friend. And at the top we have Jack and Sally. I did like a... And then we have Boo. Boo, yeah. We have a rock horror page. Um, that's Josie and the Pussycats. They came from a, a magazine. Uh, they came from a comic book that I had. And... Uh, yeah, the background is like a rock concert. And on the other side, side it says scary, next. And then we had this woman and I put a pin head, a pin cushion as her head because uh, I just thought that would be cool. Yeah. And we have this uh, rocker guy. We have uh, Michael Myers, Chucky, and uh, Jack. At the top, I put their heads on uh, bodies of the people in the rock concert. And we have Josie and the Pussycats down here. And we have some vampires. Okay, I like how those pages turned out. Okay, uh, this page says, Creature, Discomforts, Poison Ivy, Savor the Dark, uh, Headless Horseman, and stuff a cat. Okay, so the uh, border here is from Reese's Cups. Uh, every time I ate a Reese's Cup that year, I just saved the wrapper. So I have a few there. And I think that's Jughead in the middle there. And we have some crosses. We have a cross. We have some cats. And yeah, I like how that page turned out. It was fun to do. Um, this says our number one fear in life infusion unreal alert the gates of hell are open now our chickens okay and most of this stuff came from uh, the stuff in the middle came from an Archie comic and there was a horror themed Archie comic and this uh, border here was a um, it was a piece of like uh, that tape, you know, that like uh, crime scene tape. It had blood on it. And then we have one of those uh, little models of uh, that shows the body, inside the body. Okay. And is that Josie and the Pussycats? No, nope, that's not Josie and the Pussycats. I don't know who that is at the bottom. And then we have Mrs. Beasley again. Ugh, Mrs. Beasley. Yeah, and we have uh, a, a skull here. And flowers coming out of it. Yeah, that reminds me of Day of the Dead, so, yeah. Uh, this says, Stain Away, Gory, Perfect perfect Dark, Extreme. Uh, on the other side, it says, Greatly Exaggerated Halloween, Don't, Bizarre. Uh, but wait, there's more. Okay, so we have Michael Mar. Uh, we have a Jason sticker. We have a Freddy sticker. Uh, we have these people playing a game down here, and I have a knife there and a ghost up there. Um, then on the other side, I put a look little mini chainsaw in her hand. Uh, she had a gaming controller, but uh, yeah, I changed it. Then we have Michael Myers. We have Freddy again. And, yeah, it looks like she had slaughtered all those people. They just, like, fell asleep in the ad. But, um, yeah, I thought it would be cool just to put a little mini chainsaw in her hand. Okay, this says brain food. Don't forget. Then we have zombie crossing around the, um, around the border. And, yeah, that is from an Archie comic. Um... Uh, where it was like uh, Archie horror comic where there was like zombies and stuff 
And then we have a random knife that I found in a catalog. So, yeah. So, I love that. Uh, then we have Zombie Crossing again. Uh, we have uh, Stop. Don't let him go. Okay. And then we have, uh, yeah, another Archie comic, uh, horror comic. And we have the werewolf. I think Jughead was a werewolf in that comic. We have a cross. Uh, we have uh, Hannibal down here. And we have Dr. Sleep over there. And then we have this guy. I put, it, um, put an eye patch on him. But I love that zombie crossing tape. Uh, so I just decided to save it because, um, yeah, that stuff doesn't last every year. Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to put it in here to save it. Okay, so this page says, clean up after yourself. So many new ways to die. On the other side, it says, come to life behind the scenes before the end of the world. Emergency zombie apocalypse and medical isolation so this is Jughead as a werewolf okay we have garlic there we have some pumpkins on the other side we have a big cross and I did like a zombie page over here yeah we have zombies and we have some more zombie uh, crossing tape so yeah so I, I had something to keep me occupied on those days uh, during quarantine when I just didn't want to think about it. So this says, medium in the message. Doesn't have to strike me down. Don't. Dr. Sleep. Okay, so this is just like a mixture of things. Um, because I didn't really have a theme for this page. I just did like a mixture of like fall stuff. And we have a woman with hedge clippers, which I thought was kind of creepy. So, yeah, I put it in there. On the other side, we have the, this woman that, who has, like, caught fire. Uh, we have Jack up here. And we have Dr. Sleep again down there. I own Dr. Sleep. Um, yeah, it's not one of the best uh, Stephen King movies. I like it. I like the book a lot better than I like the movie. So... Yeah, but it has Ewan McGregor in there, so yeah, had to get it. Yeah, but I just don't like how it ended because, um, yeah, it didn't end right. It didn't end like the book ending. I like the book ending more than I like that uh, the movie ending. So this says, distressed to impress. It's it takes planning to tiptoe down down in silence and on the other side it says devious diva playing the part okay so we have more uh reese's cup wrappers this took me a while to save all these wrappers uh we have i think that was oprah and i put a pinhead on her and then i gave her this like big hand and we have a sticker down there but yeah and i put her on this horse and on the other side, uh, in the middle is uh, Betty and Veronica. And, yeah. And we just have like a bunch of random stuff around them. Which, yeah, it just took me a while to like find things that I wanted to put on the pages. Okay, this page, uh, before we get to the next, the next page says, It's Real uh, Last Laugh. Hide and seek undefeated. Okay, so this page, I decided to do a barcode page. And every time I found a barcode, I just put it on here. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if you could, like, put your phone on here and it would, like, uh, go to any of those sites. But, um, yeah, I just thought it was cool. I thought, yeah, I just wanted to make a barcode page. On the other side is sort of a... Uh, a Bigfoot page so we have a lot of different Bigfoots that I found in magazines catalogs and yeah so yeah that is cool uh, next page I have a actual leaf on this page it says turn 
uh, anxious time, pandemic, depression, treatment for COVID, panic, uh, things might be rough now, but trying, but try adding a swarm of creepy vermin. Okay, so this other page over here on this side is about the pandemic, and I think there was like murder hornets going on at the same time, so I made a 2020 page on that side. But over here, I have an actual leaf in here, and I put tape on it, and I don't know how that leaf is still stayed so preserved, but uh, yeah, that leaf is like, what, four years old? And then we have this uh, glitter pumpkin and yeah i wanted to preserve the leaf but i wanted to preserve the glitter pumpkin too so that um yeah glitter didn't get all over and over here is my 2020 page that i made and we have germs and all the stuff that was going on back in 2020 uh, yeah i did a glue book page of it okay next page it says body count, bodies, meat floor, stains uh, from falling through cracks. And we have, yeah, the man, Michael Myers. We have Jason down here. No, not Jason. We have Freddy. Why did I say Jason? Yeah, I just have Jason on the brain. We have a, a little uh, alien baby. And, yeah, just a bunch of random stuff on that page. On the other side, we just have a bunch of, like, creepy people and just creepy things that I found. Uh, every time I see a person that looks like, um, back then, every time I seen a person that looked kind of creepy, I would add them in on my pages because, yeah, they just, like, look sus. So, yeah. And I found, like, these people on, like, many different random magazines, but I just thought they looked weird. Uh, so, yeah. And this says, Batty Barbecuing Masker. Okay. And most of this page is Bigfoot. But we also have Jason. And, yeah, this is actually Jason this time. And we have a vampire woman over there. And we have a bunch of Bigfoot stuff. We have a baby alien there. That's the baby alien doll that I taught, um... I think I told you guys about that baby alien doll that I wanted. But, yeah, that thing is expensive, and uh, I don't want to pay it, so, yeah. And on the other side, it says temporary. And there's a woman screaming. And, yeah. This is just like a random, bunch of random stuff. Uh, some of it came from Archie McPhee. And this came from, like, some cards that I got. Some Halloween cards. And we have Jack. Yeah. We can't have a page without Jack. So, yeah. Next page. It says Supernatural. And, yeah. The other side says Feed. So, we have a glitter ghost there. I don't remember where I got all those glitter, the glitter ghosts and pumpkins, but we have a glitter ghost. Uh, we have a Frankenstein that came from Archie McPhee. We have crosses. We have skeletons. We have zombies. We have a uh, True Blood down here. A uh, picture from True Blood. We have Sookie and, uh, yeah. It's been so long since I watched that show. But uh, we have a cauldron over there. And on this side is like a vampire page. So, yeah, we have several vampire things. Uh, there's a lady vampire. And we have one of those models, wooden models. I have one of those. And we have garlic on the side here. Okay. Another sip of tea. That tea is, like, helping me so much. Um, these are another couple uh, vampire slash zombie pages. It says, Bloodbath, Huggable, the Huggable Zombie. Okay. And, yeah, as you can see, this pumpkin down here has lots of glitter. So, yeah, there's, like, a vampire page. We have wooden steak. 
And over here, this was a vampire mask that come from that craft book. And we have zombies. Yeah. Um, yeah, I decided to put it in a glue book instead of, like, trying to, uh, like, use that mask. Because I didn't want it to, uh, I wanted to keep it for a while. So, yeah, put it in the glue book. Uh, this says Demon's Anti. Okay. We have another glittery, uh, we have a glittery bat this time. Okay. We have some zombies and vampires. And we have another glittery pumpkin down here. This guy was in an ad for masks. And I just thought he looked so, like, creepy. Like, he would, like, kill you. So, I put him in here. And we have a vampire zombie thing okay and i love glittery stuff but i just don't love when it attaches itself to me so let's hope i don't get covered in glitter uh this says voodoo doll pierce the doll and slip your needles in voodoo needles breaking needle point cold dead hands using brains instead of eating them okay so the little zombie guy uh, the little voodoo doll guy came from um the arts and craft a horror book and yeah i cut him out and glued him in here uh and put all the look pins on there i colored him in and we have the glittery pumpkin on the other side we have this creepy shadow guy we have a pumpkin we have this iPhone with an eye on it, uh, an eye coming out of it, like it's watching you. Uh, we have a skull over here. We have a dandelion down there because I call you guys my dandelions. Uh, yeah, because I've always loved dandelions. I know they're like the flower that nobody loves, but yeah, I love them. So this page says October bat. Uh, it says silence. Then we have, uh, from Halloween, we have uh, the uh, the cover art for Halloween. We have this weird looking woman. I can't remember where she came from, but she just looks so weird. We have uh, this puppet looking girl. We have a skull. We have bats. We have zombies. On this side, we have a bunch of baby heads. Yeah, which I thought was cool. We have like hands, zombie hands and hands coming out. Uh, we have another glittery pumpkin. And we have zombies. And the background was like a maze that you were supposed to, like, try to get through in that uh, crafting book. But, yeah, I just never did do it. So, I just put it in here instead. Uh, it says, Shadow Stop Shake. When Life Bites. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the time, Life Bites for me. So, yeah. But you just have to get on with it. Uh, it says, while you were sleeping. Okay, so we have another glittery bat up here. Uh, we have crosses because, uh, yeah, vampires don't like crosses. We have a spider in a, like, encrusted in, like, a uh, rock. We have uh, bats. We have uh, this creepy-looking woman. She, I think she's like a vampire. We have another glittery pumpkin. And, yeah, we have these coffins and stuff. Uh, they came out of that craft book, too. Uh, some of them I colored. And some of them were just like that when I got them. Uh, this page says, yes, final step. Uh, we have a newspaper from Transylvania. It says, lost, it's chill. Halloween squad. Uh, be unstoppable. And it says, you're invited my hands got so cold i had to pry my fingers loose loose death become becomes him savor the dark so yeah this is another like vampire theme page um yeah we have the transylvania newspaper that came out of that uh one of those crafting books and we have some vampires and stuff we have crosses over here we have ewan mcgregor uh, this is an ad for The Sims 3 with uh, the Grim Reaper because you can like 
uh, play chess with the Grim Reaper. Or you can uh, have interactions with him in The Sims 3. So, yeah. And we have, like, another Grim Reaper down there. So, yeah. And uh, these, like, frames were already on the page. So, I just put, like, pictures in them. Uh, next page says, Empty. Hello again, Clarice. Uh, and I know I didn't say it the way uh, Hannibal says it. Uh, it says Halloween, cro Zombie Crossing, Welcome to the Fun House, Bite Fun, Pumpkin. So the background was like one whole page, so I like that. Uh, I found that woman in a, um, div a random magazine that I had. Um, yeah, this local little thrift store that we have. Uh, they give away magazines. You can, like, get, um, like, four magazines at a time. They just, like, have a bunch of um, old magazines there. So, yeah. And we have the glitter pumpkin there. We have some Halloween stickers. We have Charlie Brown and uh, Linus and Snoopy. Yeah, I love every watching every year. And poor little Linus sits in the pumpkin patch. And he doesn't get to go trick-or-treating. His sister has to go trick-or-treating for him. And, yeah, he thinks the great pumpkin is going to come every year. When I was a little kid, I just, like, felt so sorry for him. I was like, <sighs> yeah, and I was, like, smart. I was a smart little kid. I was like, <sighs> he is, like, so dumb. But I feel sorry for him. Uh, this says, from the inside out, dissolve. Happy Halloween. Recharge your knots. So we have a big coffin in the middle. Um, the middle of this page. I colored it in. Uh, we have this dude down here. And he just like look weird. We have crosses. On the other side we have these like little uh, alien hands. Uh, from Archie McPhee. We have um, a cross. We have this pumpkin sticker down here. And, yeah. Okay. Next page. Uh, this says, Shock, Night, uh, Scorching, Do Not, It's Real, Halloween, Happy Halloween. Okay, and we have, we have Sam. Yeah, we have a Sam sticker here. I love Sam. And he has this little punk in there. Uh, we have these creepy hands. We have these people uh, around a bonfire. And over on the other ha uh, other page, this was like a, um, like an ad for hunting. It was turkey there. And, yeah. So I just thought that was weird and creepy. So I put that in there. Um, I can't remember what that magazine is called. It's called uh, Gun and Something, and some I haven't got one in a while. Gun and Garden, and they have some pretty pictures. Uh, I got a free subscription. I haven't got one in a while. Maybe my subscription has run out, but um, yeah, I they have a lot of pretty pictures in there for people that do glue booking. So this back this page is like all Archie McPhee stuff. Uh, we have hands and creepy crawlies and eyeballs and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, I love my Archie McPhee. Uh, it says Close Encounters. On the other side is some more cowboy people. I found them in, like, a gaming magazine. Uh, we have a wanted poster behind them. And, yeah, I just thought they looked... I thought they fit in here. And we have this... Uh, like shadow person here in the background but yeah uh next page it says help uh blood life film premiere fatal okay and we have another guy that was just like a model in a random catalog but i thought he looked weird so yeah he got on this page because he looks kind of like a serial killer and we have uh danny up here from the shining yeah, I own that movie too. And we have like uh, these crafting, wood crafting tools, but they look like weapons, so I'll put them in here. Uh, we have this bat. The background, it was uh, one whole page. 
Uh, we have some little coffins and skeletons and uh, garlic. Yeah, I don't know where I got the garlic from. I, it might have been like a food magazine. Okay, this says intense, dark, alive. On the other says side, it says come back with a warrant, fierce. Okay, so this is a vampire page. Uh, the vampire came from a Snickers ad. And, yeah, then we have, like, Bella Lugosi on a magazine down there. But I love that um, candy bar ad. So I put him in here. Uh, yeah, the comeback with a war thing came from uh, this catalog where they sell joke gifts. And, yeah, there's a nurse, creepy nurse. And we have bats and blood and stuff. That whole, the whole background is like one page. This background was one page. Um, I put the coffin on there. Uh, it came from another page. No, the coffin's already on there. So that was like just one page. But I loved those pages. I thought they were so neat. Um, so I put them in here as backgrounds. Uh, we have Zombie Crossing. We have Unforgettable Attack. Okay, we have some knees in here because I just thought they looked creepy. We have uh, a cross. Over here, this guy had blood on his mouth. I think it might have been uh, like fighting, but it looked like, to me, he looked like a vampire. We have Michonne at the top. And, yeah, what is that? Like creepy. Oh, that's like a, a bloody body. Okay, and I think that came from like... Um, that might have came from like an ad uh, for a game or something. And the backgrounds were one piece again. Uh, this page is just a bunch of random stuff. Okay. Oh, and the vampire in the middle is from what we do in the shadows. And I just thought this guy would look weird. I think he was in an ad um, in like a story about television or something. And over on this side, we have a bunch of bats. And, yeah, um, we have this from this movie. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but they had to wear blindfolds because uh, if they took the blindfolds off uh, when they were outside, that um, they would go crazy. And, yeah, what Bird Box, if you guys have never seen that movie. It is really interesting movie. And, yeah. Like, they couldn't, like, go outside um, because um, these people, if every time somebody, like, looked outside, like, looked, um, like, at the sun or, like, around, uh, they would go uh, crazy, cray-cray, and they would turn, like, into a zombie. Um, yeah, I can't remember when that movie came out. It came out a while ago, so, yeah. So, this says, The Dark During a Pandemic. Okay, and we have uh, this bat, and this woman, uh, this woman is in bed, and there's like bats are flying around, and yeah, so, yeah, and we just have some creepy looking people, uh, this is from the Archie, what is that called, Our Afterlife Archie uh, comic, and we have zombies, and garlic, and vampires, Oh, and the Jughead. Uh, down here is the cover of the Jughead comic, where Jughead became a werewolf. And, yeah, I think Sabrina was in that comic, too. Uh, yeah, I finally watched uh, the new Sabrina. I watched it all the way through. I gave it a chance this time, and I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, look, the some of the episodes... The themes are really dark. It's not like the happy Sabrina of the 90s. It is very dark. So, yeah. It is an adult show. So, this says Crash. And the other side says Gray Matter. And Brain. So, yeah. We have a bunch of random goodness here. And, yeah. And the other side. I think that Brain is made of, like, chocolate. Okay, and I thought it was cool. We have this, uh, like, pot guy that he's made of different pots for Halloween. 
and we have these legs in a garden like uh, looks like somebody has been buried in the garden and yeah uh, this page is just a bunch of random things we have some more zombie babies we have owls on the other side we have mrs. Beasley again Ugh, mrs. Beasley and we have uh, this little girl with a hammer and she just looks so creepy so I put her in here because yeah it is looks looks creepy that kid with the hammer like she would like kill you uh, this page whole page is like WandaVision and yeah I kind of these kind of pictures look kind of creepy uh, if you're not a fan of the show and over here it says lost brain uh, it says last seen at at party Saturday night if found call and there's a number down there it says brain sickness panic -demic. so yeah uh, so this is like a separate piece of uh, like magazine clip and I put it over these people because I thought they looked like they had lost their brains okay so yeah and I cannot remember where I found that but I just thought it was cool so yeah I put it in here okay so this says left night train and damned it says into the mystic okay and we have, in the middle we have that guy that played uh, on Better Call Saul and I have actually seen this movie and it's really cool um, I think it's called nobody and yeah so and we have this creepy looking guy down here with knife and over here we have this uh, like missing ad and it just looks like it's been on the tree so long we have hands there and we just have and we have the kid with the hammer again because she just looks like so creepy okay this one says dead rising from the ashes uh, this is another zombie theme page and we have a uh, um, Scully and what's his name okay so there and over here we have a, another eye patch I put on that guy. I had another picture of that creepy guy with the hat, so I just put an eye patch on him. We have a big owl in the middle. Then we have this little cute baby and a pumpkin. And we have some pumpkins down there. So, yeah. Okay, this page, it says uh, Swamp Dwellers. And it is just like different creepy like plants and bees and stuff. Yeah, I just thought this plant was so creepy. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember. Uh, but I just thought it was so creepy I had to put it in here. On the other side, we have uh, uh, this little uh, alien baby. Uh, we have these little dolls that were, like, neglected. This was from, like, a dolly hospital uh, ad. And I just thought that these dolls look creepy. We have some shadow people down here. And we have a bunny, and this bunny just looks like too, totally creepy. So, yeah. Uh, next page, it says, A Light in the Dark. It's a big mystery. So, this is a mystery page. And we have Jughead and, uh, what is his name? His dog's name, Hot Dog. And that's Angela Lansbury. And just some random guy. Okay, so I did a mystery page there. And over here is just a bunch of random things. And then we have that creepy kid with a hammer again. And this woman, she's like, she, um, I don't know if she was like a doll or a woman. So I just put her in this magazine because she looks creepy. I mean, in this glue book because she looks creepy. Um, this side, page says pumpkins. Uh, the other side says out of the darkness. Okay, so we have the baby and the pumpkin. This is just like a fall page. And over on the other side, we have my man Dean. And Castiel. I love Castiel. Yeah, Misha Collins. He is such a good guy. He's on Instagram. I follow him. And, yeah. And like I said, I'm a Dean girl. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sam's over here, but I like Dean. 
And then we have some uh, covers down here of horror comics that I found. Okay. Uh, this page says there's something. Some farmers disguise their suicides as farm accidents. Uh, enough. Free yourself. So I just thought that was like interesting. And I found this ad for... Uh, I think this is Lawnmower with this grass monster. And there's that guy again. Um, he is in the ad for Mass. And he just looks so creepy. He looked like he was going to like kill somebody. So I put him in here. Uh, on the other side, we just have a bunch of random stuff. And yeah. So, yeah, this is a bunch of random creepy stuff. Uh, yeah. And other, on this side other side it says cre uh, creature comforts yeah we have a bunch of random like creepy looking plants we have um, Archie um, that is uh, the Jughead my uh, comic book where he turned into a werewolf we have leaves down here on the other side we have this um, this is uh, Art from uh, the uh, Gremlins 2 that I own. Uh, I colored this zombie down here. And then we have uh, Veronica. She's a vampire cheerleader. So, yeah. So I think that turned out really cool. Uh, yeah, this says down here at the bottom, it says Evil Just Made... A new friend. So that was from the boy too. The cover art for the boy too. We have a sugar skull person up here. And yeah, we just have like a bunch of random things. There's like worms and bees and all sorts of creepy crawlies on that page. Okay. Uh, it says dark spots. We have HP Lovecraft up here. I've never read any of his books, but I love uh, The Reanimator, the movie The Reanimator. So, yeah, and we have Pop down here from uh, Archie, and we have this guy dragging a body. Over here, we have this creepy-ass nun. She is just so, looks so creepy. I think it was a, uh, for a mask there. Uh, I colored this up here, and... I gave that pirate, that uh, spider a pirate uh, patch. And then this picture down here looked creepy too. Of these people. But yeah. That's nightmare fuel right there. That nun. Yeah. Who would want to wear that mask? That's like so creepy. Okay. And yeah. This is a just a random page. Uh, yeah. Who would let their kids play with these dolls? That have uh, where you can take out the organs. I just thought that was weird. I seen that in like a catalog. And I was like yeah. That's got to go in my uh, Halloween glue book. Then we have a zombie hand over here. I colored that. We have this like a uh, massive. Like um, hole over here. And we have knife. And then we just have this creepy looking dude over here. Okay. Um. Uh, at the top of this page is Betty and Archie uh, from Afterlife with Archie. Uh, we have this wolf and Little Red Riding Hood. I just thought that was creepy. And over here we have, um, this is a card. I had a bunch of these cards left over uh, that I bought these Halloween cards. I got them on sale after Halloween. And I put that in here. And then we have a glittery ghost, a glittery bat and a glittery pumpkin okay and we have some creepy hands up there but yeah oh no that isn't a wolf that's like a a man it looked like a wolf but it's a man she's uh uh hugging but it looks like a little red riding hood okay then we have another uh card and it says boo we have some a glittery bat and a glittery pumpkin we have some potions down there uh this says it's halloween we have a pumpkin uh, card here 
and we have a glittery ghost and a glittery pumpkin. Uh, the background is like cardstock that I had. Okay. And this is a Halloween card that I had uh, lying around. And I just loved it. So I put it in here. It says, Happy Halloween. Over here, this one says, Halloween. A Halloween joke for you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? Uh, woo. Woo-hoo. Okay. And we have a glittery bat down there. And we have some crime investigation stuff. Uh, this one says, knock, knock. Okay. This one says, knock, knock. Who's there? Ivana. Ivana Witch. Ivana Witch Who. Okay, so I thought that was funny. That was just a leftover card I had. Uh, and... Yeah, that's the mom from a show that I watch. She has a pumpkin sweatshirt. And this is the back cover. I put Ewan McGregor there. We have some zombie crossing uh, tape around there. And it says end of the line because that's the last page in my Halloween glue book. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, this because I had a lot of fun making this. Um, yeah, like I said, um, it was from 2020 to 2021 that I made this and I didn't get around to showing you guys this for a while because life happened uh, my mom died then my pug died and yeah it's just been a while so I found this um, last night I have like a cabinet that I keep my uh, journals that I've done and my glue books and I found this and I was like yeah, I wanted to show that to everybody. So, yeah. So, I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.